So I took on a job and the guy, one of the producers, I'm cool with the, uh, I'm cool with the coordinator, everybody that's on set. Mm -hmm. So I record him as he's sleeping and I like send it over to the, the coordinator. She's laughing, blah, blah, everybody's laughing. He corners me in the truck and is like, hey, don't you ever record me when I'm sleeping. That's, don't, don't you ever do that. I'm like, okay, it was a joke. Like, and also I didn't post it online or anything like that. Mm. I didn't do anything like that. A year later, two, like a year later, Insecure happens. I'm on season two of Insecure. I meet him, I'm signed to this management company that does like YouTube content, stuff like that. So I'm at this uh, award show, he sees me. Hey man, what's going on? You're doing so great. I'm, you're doing so well. Man, look, if you ever need anything, just let me know. I was like, you know what's funny? <laughs> you were a dick to me. You know what's funny? <laughs> you were a dick to me. Welcome to Iman Amongst Men, powered by Shea Moisture. Men, I'm Iman Shumper here with my big brother Ari. Ari, go and give a what's up to the people. What's going on, people? My name is Ari, and we're joined here by another special guest. Actor, writer, executive producer of a show called Send Help. Send Help. On All Black, founder of Bassett House Pictures. Okay. Hey, yeah. now, 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 I get, people get my name wrong all the time, and Lauren just told me that people get yours wrong all the time, but you let it go. Mm -mm. So I'm gonna give you. I don't let it go. Oh, you don't let it go. I love to correct people when they fuck my name up. Perfect. Me and you on the same page. Yeah, I, I give it to people all the time. Go and give them one time. Do your own intro. This is this is for the script. This is how the name is said. The name is said Jean Ellie. And do you get mad when people can't say like people don't have a Jean? Nah, I don't get mad. I just be like it's Jean. Uh, it's Jean. So it's really not John. No, it's Jean. So when people mess up Jean and say Jean. I'd be like, it's Jean. There you go. Mm, and sometimes it's like, like Philly, like Jean. Yeah. Mm, I never knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. I, I always thought that when it was Jean and people never said it right, I always thought it was just John. Nah, I'd be Jean. Jean. I'm like Jean Claude Van Damme, Jean Claude Van Damme, Jean. Jean mm. Valjean, mm -hmm. Jean. <laughs> right, it's simple. Very simple. Hey, man, get it together, man. Let's get the pronunciation correct. Uh, the theme of today's episode is gonna be Black Boy Joy. Mm. Yeah, you got a post on your IG that talks about how you went from a manager of Sprint to a series regular actor on a major TV show. Talk about the journey and how would you describe that? Oh, uh, it I would consider the journey a roller coaster ride, mm. um, filled with highs and lows, mm. and also redirecting my energy into doing things that speak to my ultimate goal, which is, mm -hmm. you know, to run my own production company and work work on films, but also direct and produce shit whenever I have my time off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, it's been like a journey, like even in the midst of like being on TV and things of that nature, like when money's not coming in, that I hate that, not having like those multiple streams of income coming mm -hmm. in, because that's how I always operated like growing up. Mm -hmm. So even in that, like even being on Insecure, like times off, like when during a hiatus, I would do customer service work on the computer and shit. Mm -hmm. And like hooking up cell, phone, cell phones and things of that nature, stuff that I used to do back in the day when I was in college. Like I used to do, used to run a Sprint store. Mm -hmm. So I started doing that stuff on the side in the process of like just having multiple streams of income in the process of working mm -hmm. and grinding. And now I'm a showrunner, show creator, Wait a minute, what you mean like on the side? Like if I like if I crack my iPhone screen? No, nah. It's he like said no. if you're like <laughs> if you're like, yo, I need a SIM card activated. I'm about to leave town, and I need what to call a SIM card I could use in like Europe, wherever it is. I could hook that up and set that up for you. Like, like, like when uh, when Mars used to be like, oh yeah, we can get you cable. Yeah, it's like that. I was that nigga. Oh, oh. So you know about the digital SIM? Yeah. You know about that. I just start. I'm not doing digital sims anymore. Oh, actually, I do do. I do do the digital sims. I used to do that. Yeah. Damn. You, you oh, you tapped all, in, man. man. Yeah, he tapped in. So how much for a class on that? <laughs> I don't do that shit no more. Yeah, bro. You can't nah, walk nah, me nah. through it. That's nah, you don't I, have to. Nah, do nah, it. I don't do it. Yeah, I don't do it. So what's it called? I used to do it through this thing called DBS Sims Trade. Copy. 
and used to work with him and do all that stuff like because he would get all the contacts and I would just mm. do on the computer do all the work and he copy. has like the software shit. Copy, no copy, longer, copy. Yeah. yeah, you need all that. You need all that. You need the software. You need all that shit. Always yeah. got to invest in yourself. It's always a catch. Well, yeah. Well. What's crazy? The, the 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 my favorite thing that you said was redirecting your energy. Mm. You got a lot of people that I talk about the Kobe eggs in the basket shit. Mm -hmm. People will put their energy into something and it's like, damn, this didn't work right away. So fuck it. Let me just put all this. It's just like all this like, oh, and then it take them forever to build back up to mm -hmm. go somewhere else. And it's just like, nah, that same excitement that you got. It's like, all right, let me just figure out exactly where to throw the excitement at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where or, to put it at or to, where to distribute it. <laughs> yeah. Or you could actually do everything you said you're going to do and it's still not where you thought you were going to be. And then you're like, damn, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? Yeah. Because I did it, mm -hmm. but I'm nowhere where I thought I was going to be or or what this thing was supposed to look like. I mean, it's just time for a new dream, man. Exactly. Shit, you got to you know, redream your dream. You at that sleep point. again tonight, shit. Exactly. Redream your dreams, fuck man. That. That's also maturity because <laughs> <laughs> I felt like that all the time in the past and I'll still be like mad as fuck. That'll make me not want to, well, not not want to try the next thing, but it's like weary of trying the next thing because it's like, yo, I did everything I and said I was going to do and it didn't fucking work out or, you know, something else That's didn't work out in between. So mm -hmm. it's just like, yo, am I even just supposed to be doing this? Is this meant for me type yeah, shit? Man. Question you got to go everything. listen to American Gangsta. Ain't nothing wrong with the game. Just got to change the target. <laughs> I got dreams to pack skittles, top size pillows. If I had Jay-Z as a therapist. That's it. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. There's a point in everybody's career when they are just ready to give up, though. Big uh, facts. Especially with the acting uh, profession. And the roller coaster ride. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, up and down. Um, how did you overcome those moments of just like when doubt creeps in, when it's like maybe I should stop putting my time toward this and put it toward something that I can see bring money in right now consistently yeah. Yeah. to where um, I don't have these gaps? Um. Because the entertainment gaps are crazy. <laughs> I, I've never seen anything. Dog, it's weird. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's like, all right, cool. I'm lit for like six months. And then like mm. another six months, I'm down. It's like, God damn. I, I watch, I've watched like so many. I've talked to so many actors that have tell, they're like explaining that to me. Like, it's not like how y'all get. Like, y'all just every year. I'm like, damn. They like talk about the pressure of like mm -hmm. the pressure. Being, being so it. They like damn near you'll be lit and thinking the whole time you lit like, Fuck, does this mean that everybody gonna be like, man, let's take a year off of him. We overusing him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like we're over putting his face yeah, and everything. Yeah, now yeah, we gotta yeah. let him go ghost for a little bit. Let somebody else. Let them try. miss him and then go and come you know back. And all like, that stuff like that. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Like the way I do it is I just like I was saying earlier, like I redirect my energy into something else that I'm interested in, something else that I like. Um, so I just start focusing on that. Like when jobs wasn't happening in the earlier stages. I was like, fuck it, I need to learn how to produce for real. So I took on internships. Mm -hmm. I took on um, PA jobs. Then I turned, first turned first AD, second AD, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Started working on those crafts, reading more, um, just getting better, t getting to myself. You know what I'm saying? So therefore, I'm not spinning my wheels trying to figure out what the next thing. I'm investing myself so therefore I'm ready for the next opportunity that comes my way. Mm -hmm. Um, but then you do have those moments where you're like sitting there in your room or you're in your apartment by yourself. You're like, damn, yo, like, I don't know what the next move is. So you, you start journaling and start speaking to yourself until you come up with an answer about what the next move is and what the next path is, is you're going to start charting. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you like lived in that solitude. Yeah. I live in the solitude. I, I I enjoy being by myself so therefore I could think clearly. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't function with a lot of noise around me. You know what I'm saying? Like right now I live by myself. I'm I'm engaged and I'm about to live with my girl and I'm trying to figure out like how am I gonna get this solitude? Holy shit. You feel me? Let me let me Ooh. get this out the way for you. Let me know. You not getting that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> and don't add no kids. Cause you definitely not getting that. Ooh. What you mean? What Ooh. you mean? What how I you, mean? It better not be no little girls. Cause y'all ain't get there. Ain't no solitude. They ain't no locked doors. Ain't no. I'm like. Ain't no taking a shit and they ain't coming in there. I don't, don't even get ten minutes. I don't nothing. even get ten minutes. Ten what minutes? you mean? I don't even get it. 
Hey, they it's always something you finna have to pick up. You finna yeah. have to fix the TV. You better not watch no show without her. Like, well, you, you better to stop playing. And all that shit. Yeah, you go. Oh man. Well, welcome to oh, the team, man. man. It's good to have you, man. Uh, hey, welcome, my boy Jean. <laughs> <laughs> he in the building, man. The man finna move on in, boy. Oh, go move man. on in, boy. No, I'm playing though. It's a, it's actually a beautiful thing when they do move in there because they correct a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. I heard. Yeah, but that that solitude that you talking about, like the 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 figuring it out alone, <laughs> get that yeah, out. You, ju- to, you just yeah. gotta. You just gotta basically do that you at work. Adapt. Yeah, yeah. Do that no, at work. he got He got to adapt. Yeah, get you a bathroom break at work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's that's. Go what in the bathroom on that trailer, man. You be good. I know they. Jean, Jean I know they knock crying. hard. Yeah, they they knock hard. Bow, 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 like the police, they like do. yo. Every time they gotta come get you, it's boom, boom, boom. Cause they don't care if you in the front, you in the back. They like you gonna hear this. That's gonna be your solitude right there in that bathroom. Turn that fan on. Let it be your white noise. You'll be all right. Sean is in the bathroom crying. We don't know why. Just came from home and then he's here and he's crying. Now. Check on him, man. <laughs> Check on him. At least he's working. <laughs> At least he's exactly working. Exactly what he's going to say. Exactly. At least he's working. Right. At least he's working right. right now. We're keeping him paid. So, uh, on that topic of, uh, you know, like your uh, your career and the ups and downs, like who's your biggest support system? Who helped you climb the ladder? Um, My biggest support system is, honestly, I'd be feeling like I'm in this game by myself. But at the same time, though, like when I'm creating content or I'm trying to get advice mm-hmm. from people, I have my producing partner, Mike Goyo. He helps me out. Like him and I, we came in together to do Send Help. Mm-hmm. Um, if I'm like looking for like information as far as like creating in contracts and things of that nature, mm-hmm. um, I speak to Issa, I speak to Prentice, I speak to Denise. Um, I sometimes speak to my boy, Eric Andre, um, and all the other directors that I've met coming up the ranks, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, talk to them about, what's this question? Is this right? Is this is this wrong? Should I give in on this? Uh, and they're always like, yo, don't let anybody bully you around. Don't let anybody tell you what to do. Um, you know what's right. You know what, you, what you're okay with and what you're not okay with. Um, I remember one time I had to give a call. I was like dealing with some shit and I called like, also Coleman Domingo, it's another good person. And, like I would call like, yo, is this right? Am I tripping? Right. And he'd be like, nah, brother, you ain't tripping. No, nah, that's real. You, you, for real, you, you can feel that. And you have to learn or know when you want to walk away from something. Mm-hmm. Because if you're not willing to walk away, then they're going to be able to do whatever they want. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm willing to walk away from certain shit. So I, so I can stand on the words I say that I'm going to mm-hmm. do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What's, uh, the, what's been the biggest walk off? You don't got to name the exact project. No, no, no. But what, what, what went wrong where you was like, yeah, yeah. I have to leave now? No, I haven't had one of those moments, but I had those moments where I had to um, put your foot down a little bit. Put more. my foot down and also tell somebody about themselves. Like, I've done that several times where, for instance, like in between jobs and I'm trying to figure out things. So I'm like, I'm taking on assistant work on mm-hmm. PA work or truck PA work and this and that third, right? Mm-hmm. I had done Alvin and Chipmunks. I had done, um, I had done, I have toured with the Eric Andre show. I have done all this stuff. So now I'm like, cool, I need to figure out some more stuff on the production mm-hmm. side. Mm-hmm. So I took on a job and the guy, one of the producers, I'm cool with the, uh, I'm cool with the coordinator, everybody that's on set. Mm-hmm. So I record him as he's sleeping. And I like sent it over to the the coordinator and she's laughing, blah, 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 everybody's laughing. He corners me in the truck and is like, hey, don't you ever record me when I'm sleeping. That's, don't, don't you ever do that. I'm like, okay, it was a joke. Like, and also I didn't post it online or anything like that. Mm. I didn't do anything like that. He, he walks away. End of the day, I'm packing up the truck. <laughs> you know what's so funny, man? The star of the show posted on Instagram <laughs> and it literally did uh, like 10,000 like, likes. It's hilarious. And I was looking at him like, now it's funny? He said, you know it's funny, man. That's said, one no, but for real though, like I now said, it's lit though. Now it's lit? Pulled. A year later, two, oh. like a year later, Insecure happens. Mm-hmm. I'm on season two of Insecure. I meet him. I'm signed to this management company that does like YouTube content, stuff like that. So. I'm at this uh, award show. He sees me. Hey, man, what's going on? You're doing so great. I'm, 
you're doing so well. Man, look, if you ever need anything, just let me know. I was like, you know what's funny? <laughs> you were a dick to me. You know what's funny? <laughs> you were a dick to me. He's like, oh, come on, man. It's like water under the bridge, man. Like, I guess you just got to be cool to everybody. I know like, you got to be cool what? with everybody, bro. Real talk. Be chill and be you with everybody. Don't try to be my friend now. Now right. that you see, now you're able to see the things. Like, don't be, That's don't be my friend That's now. A, it's That's amazing, though, but it, it's a lot of that. There's a lot of that. There's people that you will meet. There's things that you come in contact with that you're just like, you're trying to process it like with a good heart because you're coming from a place of like, I don't even know they did that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you really walk into it like an innocent little kid. Like, oh, like, oh, this is cool. Like, we're here, guys. Like, ah, oh, funny joke, la, la, la. And then it's like when you see somebody take it that shit, it's like, bro, you yeah, okay? It's a way like, to I'm sorry, that. like yeah, maybe it's I'm a not way to handle that. Maybe I'm like, not supposed to do that. But then it's like, but if it gets ten thousand likes, it's cool. It's funny. Like, it's no, it's after, amazing. That's literally like, the, that's literally what we live in. Like I feel like he came in thinking like he was just gonna be like, oh, okay, all right, I ain't want no problem. But he was just like, no, this is why I did it. This is what happened. No, I didn't wait. post it online. <laughs> That's what he so felt what's your aware problem? about. Yeah, like, yeah, what's like, your like, problem? This is in private with people that we yeah, trust. That man. we trust. It's a we're working environment where they, family, they like, saw you funny. sleeping. Yeah, it's funny. They saw you it's, sleeping. Exactly. You were sleeping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I was like, all right, cool. Don't call me. <laughs> like, yeah. there's nothing we need to work with. That's crazy. Is there any? There, so there's no way that you could work with him. Nah, he's an asshole. It's over. Like. It's crazy. You know what? I've I've learned something with being with my wife. I don't think there's anything more satisfying than somebody playing me one way and then later on you need me. Cause I I now like I was that way where I was just like, I'll never work with him. Like, don't gotta see him, whatever. But if I could see you at a capacity that I get the control now, oh yeah, come on aboard, brother. <laughs> You I'm not even gonna treat slave. you bad. Yeah, I'm not even gonna treat you, you bad. Did you just, no, no, no. You definitely got to do your job. I'm not gonna <laughs> yeah. treat you bad. You got to do your job. But I like that you have to see how it's done. Now you got to see how it's done. Now you on my payroll. I still don't trust people who do. That's shit. cool. I, I may hit you it. with the. I I, I yeah. may hit you with the. Uh, what's the? What is it? A. Uh, uh, What's the sixty day thing when they gotta pay you a, a, a net oh, sixty? A net sixty. Net sixty. When you don't get a, paid for a minute. Yeah, I might hit you with a net sixty. <laughs> net net one twenty or some net shit. Net ninety. Yeah, some wild <laughs> shit like 90. that. Man, you ever call a three sixty net nigga? You ever call a three sixty net boy? <laughs> you ever see one of them nets, boy? All around net. Uh, that's worse. Uh, oh man, that's crazy. That's hey, what would you say was your first breakthrough as an actor? Um, is it insecure? American crime. American crime. American crime because what it showed me is that I can take control over the character in the way that I want to take control of the character mm-hmm. and do it my way. And, um, and, what, and what way do you So mean? when I got the script, it was written in English and it was saying in Creole, right? Mm-hmm. But I'm reading it and I'm like, this is not how I would talk to my mom. This is not how I would have this conversation. Mind you, I'm leaving Haiti. I'm coming to the United States to take, save my mother from a family that she's been taking care of, and they've been abusing her and locked her in the, uh, locked her in the closet. This is the role, right? This is the role, okay. right? So you start believing it too much. <laughs> it's like, is this your whoa. <laughs> yeah, like, so I'm, com- I'm coming, and also my mom abandoned me when I was a child. So now this, so you have that, a strange situation mm-hmm. and then now I'm coming in to try to help her and I'm talking to her like um the way that it was written it was it was like I'm talking to her as if she's like an aunt or someone that I didn't really you know mm-hmm. so I walked in there I looked at the script I was like this is not what I'm saying and I did it my way mm-hmm. and then then I was like I was like I'm talking I'm speaking to Creole I'm like y'all niggas not gonna understand what I'm saying anyway so you, you know what I'm saying so I I walk away and then I'm like all right cool we'll see what happens and then I get a phone call like, oh, we'll call back. Now I'm doing it with the director and everyone. He has all the process. And then at the end of me doing it, my take again, mm-hmm. they're like, why did you change the lyrics? Why did you like, why did you change the words? I'm like, because that's not how I would talk to my mom. And they're like, oh, huh, okay, cool. And then I got the job. Mm-hmm. And I was like, cool. And then when I show up to set, they had a French uh, dialect coach on there. And I'm like, she's not Haitian. Mm-hmm. Like that's the colonizer's language, not my language. So, 
she tried to um correct correct right. me and then also try to tell the director to what correct translation to, like he's changing the words yeah. he's doing this <laughs> and i was like and i was looking at her and the director just stopped her and looked at me and said are you okay Jean? i said i'm fine we're working it out huh. and she was like okay and then when we did the job it's like all right and then when the show came out a lot of people saw it the haitian Gratitude culture felt you know what i'm saying like scene they they loved the the way we spoke on on authentic. screen it was authentic mm -hmm. it was real uh and they allowed me to play play on on that job so i'm like this is the thing that like mm -hmm. i was like this is going to get me to where i need to be at and after that was done like the director was like i hope this gets you everything you want mm -hmm. did you feel like in that instance you kind of like found your voice like as yeah. an actor yeah yeah yeah, that's fire. I, I felt the same way when I was on the, uh, the show um, for the shy. Mm -hmm. They do a lot of that where I will watch them write some, and we get there, and they watch us do it, mm -hmm. and then we'd even like go through the first take and be like, "Yeah, that mm -hmm. ain't." It's just a little awkward, mm -hmm. and everybody on the set like we didn't really have an acting coach that was like thirsty to be like, "No, read it right from the mm -hmm. script." which is why I liked being on their set, but they would be like, let's just try it. Like, forget that part. Like, mm -hmm. cause let's be a little more realistic. Like, yeah. you're mad, right? Like, you would be mad. Like, this person, like, let's, let's, you know, now that we see the faces behind mm -hmm. it, like, mm -hmm. let's go there. And I will watch uh, Hannah, who, who, Hannah Hall, who um, plays Tiff. Mm -hmm. She would go and go off script, but she would bring the element of Chicago, like how somebody from Chicago would say it. Mm. And it made my job easy, because now I'm just acting like a Chicago nigga mm -hmm. on the show. Like, <laughs> right. I'm like, I'm Rob, but I'm Iman still that's from yeah. Chicago, so I know how to deal with Tiff. Yeah. Like, I can deal with that. And I think that would make movies and shows, that's mm -hmm. what makes it dope. When you have those small wrinkles of like a boy talking to his mom and the Haitian, mm -hmm. uh, community feeling like, yeah, that's exactly how we would do it. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you also need that perspective. Like you need somebody who knows the difference between that can tell what's the just written down and what's not, mm -hmm. you know, that's what's off script, but it's authentic at the same time. And they take a good director and what yeah. you call it to actually take the, yeah, like they gotta to also it. take it. Cause it, mm -hmm. it come with a little greatest thought. Yeah. Like you don't know what you're talking about. So I'm gonna help you, which yeah. is why you hired me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna help you out. Cause this is wrong. I'm gonna give it to you how it should be. But they gotta have that moment to say, I can put my pride aside and say, yeah. that's why I brought Those him. are the best people to work with. They're yeah. like, look, I hired you to do this job. Mm -hmm. So now do the job and help me make the best project we could possibly make. Exactly. If you know I what hired you to play shooting guard, shoot that motherfucking ball. Shoot it. That's it. I ain't coming. You wanna play We're not point talking guard. about basketball, man. We're All talking right. about acting. <laughs> Acting today. I'm just like, saying, man, if we bring my so man amazing. in to play small forward, no, I need him no, to guard LeBron. No, That's no. it. See, he's setting you up for failure. I just need you to I'm go out listening. here and do yeah. it I'm, all. I don't okay. even play ball. Yeah. Like, Slash, I'm, bounce, pass, catch, finish at the rim, though. I'm the guy that sidelines talking shit. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. See? He's going to be the guy said. talking to me. Why you got to sit I'm, like you said, bro? Why is he sitting? Like, what are you doing? Like this, bro. He used to it. This yeah, is like, it. bro, I sit front row. Y'all put it on the yeah. jumbo screen. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. because yeah, you a Boston guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you're a Celtic guy. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm a Celtics guy. He I'm not all, even wearing green. Team. He got a little green on his sneaker. <laughs> That's He's wearing green. He's wearing yeah. green. I wanted yeah. to hate. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it counts. It's, it yeah, counts. It does. You're a Boston fan. It does. It does. You're right, a Boston right, fan. Right. Stay back on course. After you secured your first big job or big role as an actor, what was one thing or a few things that surprised you about Hollywood? Shit, ask me that. Mm. You next. No. <laughs> <laughs> you next. Um, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know if anything really surprised me like that. Um, nothing crazy. Like is like remember with, before the show we talked a little bit about the uh, hurry up and wait. Yeah, aspect yeah, yeah, of Hollywood, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, something yeah. like that. No, that no. Here's like when I'm in acting class, when I was learning in acting class and things of that nature, they were like, "Oh, you have to be there and do this and blah blah blah. You got to be on this blah blah." And then when you get there, you're like, "Oh no, you don't have to do. You don't have to the hurry up and wait part." I'm like. That's crazy. Like, why are we, like, just, just, like, I'm like, 
tell me when I'm. We? Why are we doing this? Like, <laughs> just tell me when I'm ready, and we'll just go. And right, like, when we're, right, right. And I'll show up at the right time to do everything. And I always show up at least 15 minutes ahead. You know what I'm saying? If you're not, if you're, if you're, if you're on time, you're late. Mm-hmm. If you're 15 minutes, you're on time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's how I move. I was like that for basketball. So most, yeah, most, almost every sport they try to teach you like that. It's just it doesn't really resonate with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. But yeah, like the hurry up and wait, or sometimes when people are like, "Oh, what was that?" Uh, the the thing that kills me, <laughs> I think the thing that kills me I is notice. when you audition for something and they're like, "Cool, you're pinned," and I'm like, "Awesome." And what then, the fuck does that mean? That means like they're like they're pin, considering like your, you, like on your social media. Oh, you the top yeah. Three pins. Like you're, they're considering you, right? I like it. Yeah, and then, board. and then they're like, "All right, cool." They sent an offer. You're like, "All right, cool." Where you find out how much money you're gonna make? You're like, "Yes." And then they're like, "Let's do one more read," and they're like, "Now nah, we're good," <laughs> and we're just gonna move on to somebody else. That's crazy. Or that's that's a wild pump fake. That's so you're like, <laughs> that's what happened? Yeah. All this bread I was supposed to make, real tough, not happening. But wait a minute, why would they send the offer sheet if you don't have? Because the, they want to make sure they want to make sure we get a number on you. Yeah, and then when they get the number on you, they know that they have you locked in at this price. So if they're going, if they go with you, this is what you make, and if they don't go with you, then they don't have to pay you shit. <laughs> so that's that part is felt like, it before. That's why he was just like, mm. I was like <laughs> "No, but I, I, it's, it's that's wild." I would, I would be like, "I would sign it first before I send the take back." I ain't no, shit. you can still you sign it. You signing it saying. I agree that I will make <laughs> this money, oh, and then he liked, you, yeah, he liked his contract. You go <laughs> no, in. No, I thought he was saying they sent the contract, basically saying, "Yeah, sign this. Send us one more. You dig?" No, I'm still saying like no, no. I'm thinking he got to send that in, and then they gonna be like, "All right, now sign this page. We want you." Or no, I'm you thinking sign you, it. I'm thinking you got the contract, <laughs> and you ain't get the last page with the signature. No, on it. you sign it. Your rep, your lawyer say, "Yo." <laughs> You're making this money if you get the job. You're like, word. And then they're like, we're going to meet you one more time. Just to, just to do a little chem read. And then they're like, cool. Nothing wrong with his tape. Nothing wrong with the read. But we're good. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Nothing wrong with the tape. Nothing yeah, wrong with his read. Man, we're good. Keep me far away from them jobs. <laughs> oh, wait. You wait till you get that series regular joint. Ooh. Like, they, they, they literally... <coughs> Or like you're like testing for something like that's what they do. You get the oh, contract. No, I've done. With... I've done the what you call where they ask like, no, nah, we want another read, or we want him to try like this. We want him to do no, it like this. That's... I've just never. They've just never sit the contract. You, like, Here goes the contract. Sign it. Send it back. Nah, bring it back in. No thanks. Exactly. I'm, that's just a long. I would feel away. Like, that bro, a... don't, don't never let me pack my bag. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's basically what. And, they and you, if and I you... gotta unpack my suitcase, dog, I'm hot. Oh no, nah, fuck that. You getting off the plane? I'm you getting hot. like you getting? You know, you telling them like, please. I know I checked in, but can we credit my? Oh, account? real talk. Can we still? Like, like, can yeah, we pocket this flight? <laughs> <It's, laughs> if it's bro. under twenty four hours, can we? <laughs> No, and that's I what they tell it. you. I don't want to go anymore. If it's under 24 hours, you'd be like, uh, it's two. <laughs> they bored now. I don't want to go to L.A. <laughs> I don't Not wanna. no more. Like, or yeah, I don't want to come. The other joint is when um they, they just don't tell you nothing. Like, you do an audition, something mm-hmm. like that. You're like, all right, cool. And you know you killed it. But then they don't call you at all. <laughs> They don't even tell you you ain't got the job. You find out I through the trades. That's not funny. <laughs> that shit sucks. Yeah. It sucks. That's what I'm saying. That's like not something that's funny, but it's just funny. No, it's real shit. Funny. It's no, like, what, he, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, when he talking about it, I see the man who was doing like this with the cell phone, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You call your rep, like, you get the information? He's like, he's like, yeah, it just didn't go your way. I'm yes, like, uh, are you kidding me? Uh, it just didn't go your way? He's like, yeah, I felt good about that one. Yeah, right, I was killed it. Mm. And then with the call, <laughs> you get a, you don't hear anything back. You're like, all right, so now I just make my piece. I'm like, if I don't hear anything like two mm-hmm. in like a week, by the end of the week, I'm like, all right, cool, I didn't get the job. 
I can't wait. For my wife. I can't wait yeah. for my wife to start having to go through like audition tapes. I can't wait. To, I, boy, I'm gonna be the worst critic. Y'all uh, better come with it on y'all <laughs> audition tapes because I think them shits is hilarious. Uh, hey, it's since crazy. you wanted to ask the Hollywood stuff, what was something that you found you know odd in Hollywood? Um, people don't know who they are. <laughs> like, I think that's the weirdest shit about Hollywood ever. Like. That's not just a Hollywood thing. I think that's just, it's extreme in Hollywood because everybody's really extreme. But no, I and... think it'd be like people really will, they, they, <laughs> they, I think they believe the person they created. Like they don't even know who they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's like crazy wrestling as hell. personalities. They're, they're re revamping themselves. Uh, now that you're your own show, uh, your own showrunner and uh, you got your own production company, how do you use your experience <laughs> as an actor to be a better boss or to be a boss, period? Um, I use it by actually checking in with the people and making sure they feel included in the decisions that are being made. You so the people share. Yeah, I, I want to make sure people feel heard and seen and uh, also like it feels like a family environment, mm -hmm. community, you know what I'm saying? Because Bassett House was sparked out of me living with four strangers in the valley. And all those people were creators and they all supported each other. And it was like a big family environment. Like my roommate at the time, Carmony, she considered like our colloquialism that we call each other was Wumi. So mm -hmm. like that's the English language I try to translate into Bassett House. Like you're a Wumi. Like if you support a creator, you work with them, or you you help them get to where they need to be at, you're a Wumi. You know what I'm saying? So uh, like Wumi as in like, a room? Like a roommate, Wumi, Wumi, like family type shit. Where does the W come from? It's just, she uses, when she, instead of saying Rumi, she would say Wumi. So she's a woman. She's, copy, copy, so copy. She would, oh, like like a, how you talk to a like baby cute. type It's like cute, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm like, oh, I like that, so I'm gonna use that. Copy, copy, copy. Um, I thought it was like Wumi, like as a womb. Like a womb? Yeah. yeah. Actually, Makes a little bit of sense. That's what like I was saying. As he was doing it. Yeah, well, it is an incubator type thing. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. Just cut that up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, great writer. Give me my pen. <laughs> but yeah, um, so like I try to like have that family mm. dynamic, family mm. vibe. Um, and I also no idea is too small. And I like I, I like to pull from people, like to work with people and let them be their best, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And I encourage them to do their best in whatever it is they're doing, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I try and listen to everybody about what they're saying, what they want, and then try to help them walk them into that path of what it is they want. So the people's champ. Right. The people's champ. Yeah, no, that's important because in entertainment, it seems like it's around, but that seems non-existent. Oh yeah, it's slim pickings. Especially out somebody who's gonna actually like, yo, let you get off and say what you gotta say, mm -hmm. and then be like, all right, this is how we're gonna go about it after that. Mm -hmm. Instead of just being like, all right, yeah, but yeah, we need to do with this and this and this and stick to a script. And yeah, it's too much, mm -hmm. too much. I don't do it, but I'm saying hearing it from y'all. <laughs> <too much. laughs> hey, the title of your show, Send Help. Yeah. And uh, mental health is a hot topic on, on the show, right? Yep. Uh, what was your approach to uh, presenting that topic on the show? Um, well, it comes from a real place um, because I lost my older brother. My older brother was murdered. So, like, I remember the times where I was, like, feeling down and out. And also, nothing feels good to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, successes goes real high, but also I'm, I'm cut right under because I'm, not, I'm realizing that my brother's not here to ex experience this mm -hmm. with me. So um, I wanted to like bring it up that people are dealing with this on a regular, on an everyday basis and they're running around with these masks, like you were saying, these masks that everything is good. Mm -hmm. And this character Fritz is running around with this mask that everything is good. He's able to hide in plain sight because he's an actor. But in, inside, he's literally, cru it's cr he's crushed on the inside mm -hmm. because he's missing that piece. And I know a lot of us, me included, when my brother passed away, I just started burying myself in other things versus dealing with the problem that at hand. So I wanted to have that character deal with that in that way where he got the job. So now he's just focused on the job, focused on bitches, focused on, uh, on family, focused on all that stuff. But when all that stuff comes crashing down, he now has to deal with all these plates that he put in the air mm -hmm. and as well deal with himself. Damn. 
I feel like that's something all men go through at one point. True. You definitely can fuck you up. You're not in a good place. But it's also, you have to be real with yourself. Mm -hmm. And this character first is not real with himself. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not he's not healed from anything or doing the work that needs to be done. Right. Mm. So when that stuff falls out, like the, in the first episode where the job goes away, mm -hmm. he has to deal with everything else that he wasn't doing or putting the energy in and focusing on. You know what I'm saying? The multiple streams of revenue, the, mm -hmm. the people having money coming in, being able to take care of his family, just splurging. As someone, and like Fritz's character is like somebody who <coughs> came on money and just started blowing the bag, which a lot of people do when they first come out. Right. Like, you get a job, you make a lot of money, make the most money you ever made in your life, and you just start blowing the bag and not investing, not saving, not understanding, like stuff that we were talking about earlier. Like, you could be have a good streak Mm -hmm. and then not be working for a little bit. And he thought this train was going to keep going and he could bury himself in that versus dealing with the stuff that's going on under underneath. Mm -hmm. So I was like, and um, I decided that I wanted that character to deal with that. I wanted him to be someone that people could relate to mm -hmm. and see what he's going through. Like people have labeled him a fuck boy. I'm like, hey, he's a, he's a fuck boy with heart. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's a guy who's just going through the motions, but not really dealing with what's going on on the inside. You know what I'm saying? Like seeing the other side of the coin. I mean, essentially, that's really what it is. Yeah. Like, that's why, you know, you're in that situation because you don't really want to look at yeah. it. You're just trying to look for other ways to supplement mm -hmm. and, you know, basically suppress whatever you got going on. That's really what that whole thing is about. It's not like, being aware of this. Yeah. And I feel like that's really in our community. Like, mm -hmm. black men, that's one of our biggest problems. Yeah, it's like, when know you don't my, know. It's my, it's my loophole. It's my loop because I, I also be on the shit. I be feeling like that's black men. I be like, we supposed to be able to deal with that. No. I know I know that. I know that. But I'm saying I've been conditioned. That's our issue, like you said. That's our issue. Yeah. I've been conditioned to feeling like, when you get in them modes, like you a black man, like you post, you figure it out. You be nigga, all right. You like, good. Yeah. Nigga, we yeah. posted. No, but the thing wrong. is though, like you, that's wrong. That's like wrong. you supposed yeah. to like. You need to talk to somebody. Talk somebody or journal it out. Get it out somehow. Yeah. Make a rap. No, Sing a song. Deal, deal with it. Sing a song. Channel it in whatever yeah. way you that works for you. Get a hug. <laughs> Real from the so right person. Hugs, exactly. Yeah, right, from the right person. If it's, it's a dude, you can get a little hand clap before you go into the hug. I know y'all be a little uncomfortable. Give him a <laughs> clap and he ain't going to it. But get that hug in. Yeah. Yeah, back to the show, man. Real niggas need hugs. Real talk. <laughs> Real niggas need, give me some of that. Real niggas need hugs, man. Real niggas need to continue to show. <laughs> Real niggas need to do it. Need to show along. Talking about the show, uh, Send Help, what was your favorite moment? And creating uh, it or just being on set? The, my favorite moment in being on set is bringing my mother to set mm -hmm. and have her experience what it is like to be on set. Oh, that was the first time ever you brought her to a set? First time ever bringing her to set. First time ever ex her seeing what it's like to create a show and what that is. Because through, as the years going on, she's like, I still don't get it. So whatever. Like, I'm on BET and she tells everybody to go watch my shit on YouTube. I'm like, that's not... <laughs> that's, that's not translate like <laughs> right you don't you don't let me that's let me proud tell you though something. that's yeah. proud though that's what you proud like i don't, I don't, I don't know, know about i don't it. know what challenge but if you go to youtube i'm like nah, you'll you'll find it it's, there. it's there yeah, you'll find it for sure i YouTube. saw it i got the link yeah, <laughs> that's what man, they, she like, probably got the link favorite that's probably why she <laughs> feed it out like that yeah man like um bringing her on set and then having her be able to see what it is and like now it just changed the narrative or the conversation for her when she's home. It's like, oh, he's so busy now. <laughs> yeah, look at all these people that's around all him. All these people he got as account the, as for. He has, he has account for. He's taking care of all these people. So it's not just me, it's all these other people as well. And that's why, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, these, she's not tripping. She's not tripping. Yeah, exactly. Man. Because like, she was like, she wasn't aware. She's was like, you're always busy. You're always doing this. You're always doing that. But now she sees it. She's like, oh no, I get I it. He's busy. It. Yeah. Bring your mama to work day. What was your path to joining the cast on Insecure? Um, it was uh, nerve wracking. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, I was nervous as hell. Like the first day, nervous. Then you know, don't really know, don't know Issa like that. I've seen her on passing. Mm. Um, didn't really know the cast. Like besides, like watching it at, like the way I first got introduced to Insecure was at Urban World Film Festival. 
I'm going to be out there on October 26th to show, send help, two episodes there. But like going, watching an audience, and I'm like, damn, this is a really cool show. And then someone asked me like, yo, can you see yourself on the show? I was like, yeah, I can see myself on the show. A year later, I get the audition to go in to play Issa's brother. And I'm like, okay, I'm never going to get this. <laughs> like, this is crazy. The reason why is because, one, I'm like, I'm a heterosexual man. Yeah. He's a gay dude. As a heterosexual man, my first thing I harp on is his sexuality. That's not who he is. You know what I'm saying? It's a part of him, but it's not who he is. And then I'm like, what do I know about being... <laughs> Gay. A gay, a black gay man and what he's went through and what that life's like, you know? I don't know anything. Um, I know I have some friends and I could just ask them and um, ask them like what's going on, like mm -hmm. what was their life like, what, who they told, who they laying, mm -hmm. and, and coming up with a backstory and all that stuff like that for this character. And But I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go in and do my version of it. Same way I did when I, um, American Crime. Going to do my version of it and see what happens. And... I went in and I was waiting in the waiting room and I hear the other person going in, like doing the role. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, they like him because they keep making him do it over and over again. Mm. So I was like, I'm not gonna do this. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go in as, I'm not gonna get this. I go in, do my take. They laugh, I'm like, all right, cool. Then I leave and I'm like, that's done. They're not gonna call me, throw the script away. Forget about it. Then um, I get a call back like, oh, Issa and all they wanna see you. I'm like, shit, all right, cool. Now. The stars are there, mm. and I'm like, I'm definitely not gonna get this. Mm -hmm. And then um, I do my take, and everybody's laughing in the room. And then like we had this, there was this exchange between Issa and I, and I'm so nervous. I'm trying to pick up the whole seat to move closer to her. <laughs> like this is a couch. I'm trying to pick this couch up with one hand and move closer to her. And I realized what I was doing. I was like, What am I doing? No, you come to me. And they're like, they start laughing. I was like, Oh. This is the character. This is this is the energy they want. So I just started feeding into that. Played off. That's fire. Played off of that. And then when I got the job, I didn't hear from them for like two weeks, a week. So I was like, all right, I'm <laughs> never gonna up and wait. I'm like, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get this. So I get a phone call and I'm like, yo, you got the job. I'm like, oh shit. And I was trying to figure out what my next move was gonna be. So I had to run home and start doing the work, like figuring out my, my past, my present, like who I told, like figuring, getting the story right mm -hmm. about who Amal is and what he's been through and how he moves through the world. Wow, so it was up to you to create that. Yeah, I had to create all that. And then, um, I do that for all characters though. Like I had to create that world. And then my mantra was like, I'm a bad bitch. I'm the baddest, I'm the baddest bitch in the whole fucking room. Yeah. So that was Amal's mantra the whole time so he could do the job and like just mm -hmm. be here. How does that, how does that, I can't, I don't, I can't imagine myself doing that. What? How do you call, how do you call yourself a bad bitch being a heterosexual well, man? Why not? Like, what's it called? You're, you're literally, it's a what if. Mm -hmm. It's a what if. Like, if, if I was this, how would I be? He's not saying that's how it is. He's saying that's how I perceive this. this. You just tell me, like, what do you think? Oh, no, I, get, I totally get it. I'm just saying I would be, like, I would, I probably would have it in my mind all the way up Thing until is, they said action, and then I'd be like, <laughs> cut. You know what? <laughs> Maybe he's not a bad bitch. Maybe. Maybe he's not gay at all. Yeah, you know what, Issa? Uh, let's, come here, Issa, come here. <laughs> when we sit next to each other, you're the bad, not me. Gay? No, you got you. Thing is though, you're you're the the pro the problem is growing up in being a heterosexual man. You wasn't even I don't know I don't know you guys upbringing like that. So like I don't know. Oh no, I hadn't seen. I went to school in Atlanta until I got to Georgia Tech when I went on my visit. Yeah, I had never seen somebody publicly come yeah. out and say that. Yeah, like, I had never seen it. So exactly. I was I was nervous. Like my whole. I was like, gay club. I was like, what? Yeah, yeah. Like, you, you're like, I don't understand this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And tough. also, you're like, damn, my boys are going to make fun of me. Yeah. Uh, and you, you get into your head about everybody else besides being there and present mm -hmm. for the character you're about to play. And you like, dog, it's more than just his sexuality. Like, I'm like you were saying, like, I don't want to take the character on like the character's just having sex every day. Yeah, exactly. The he's more than got that. So much shit. Yeah, to him. so much layers to him. Yeah. It's he's not a, even more than that. It's like he's beyond that. Yeah, like, this, <laughs> he's a person. Like he's a 
full on. Oh no, but so, I'm, but I'm saying, saying, I'm saying when you first read the script. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm like, kidding. No, that's the nervousness. Yeah, like, that's the oh nervous. man, I'm gonna have to be kissing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you, you get in your head, and it's like, no, bro, he's a person. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, mm-hmm. and he speaks for people, and he represents people. Mm-hmm. Like the beautiful thing ever happened after that job mm-hmm. was the messages from people. I feel seen. Thank you for playing, for taking on that role. Thank you for like being there. A friend of mine's who I used to wild out with in college mm-hmm. came out to me like, "Yo, bro, I'm, I was like, since, since when? Like, you know what I mean? What are you doing? Right, right, right. Like, I'm like, he's like, yeah, man. Like, I, I just always been. I just never really like. I'm like, that's crazy. And then, and because you played that role, he like he I felt can, comfortable to, to tell talk me. to you about. Because essentially, yeah. that's what's wild about it. Is essentially. Just him being like, yo, this is how I would see it. It's like there is somebody out there who's living in that, you know, space or can identify with that directly and be like, yo, that's what I go through. Yeah. Copy. Like that's what Copy. legit, that show Insecure, that's why I loved it so much, is because you can do that with every single episode, depending on what you're going through in your life, especially if you're black. It's mm-hmm. gonna be like, yo, show. that's that's me. Or that's mm-hmm. I'm going through yeah. something just like that. And I'm trying to deal with it. And I had the same goofy thoughts yeah. that they do. See the man yeah. don't watch every season. Though, man. See, I, I mean, get on the that. show is good. It's I know, good but show. I was too. I be on the. See, I go on. I get on violent shows, so I like. I like the shows with the the violence, they the only choreograph. Book, they only book me for them violent shows, and I be like, ready. Yo, oh, I ain't gonna lie. I love some action, some good fight choreography, yeah. a good couple of gunshots. Like yeah. I love that in films. Um, what's the best piece of? First of all, how do you get to advice from Issa? Like, it's one thing to get the role, do the, the read and everything. How do you get to advice from, from Issa? And what's the best advice you've gotten? You just ask. Honestly, like, a lot of the times we don't ask questions because we're afraid of being, someone telling us no. And then us now having an attitude with that person mm-hmm. for telling us no. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, just ask the question. If they say no, it's whatever. It's like, just move on. Yeah, see, it's not yes that big no. of a deal. Life is about yes or no. For yeah, sure. it's yes or no. Like, especially as an actor, you're being told no all the time. And you're getting on a bunch of false starts mm-hmm. all the time. So you have to just be okay with someone telling you no. All right, cool, you didn't want to answer that question? Great, I'll ask you another question later on mm-hmm. when, I, when I feel ready. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you're not, and I'm asking, and she is so open to just be like, oh, well, yeah, well, let's talk about it. Boom, boom, boom. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's figure out that. And I'm like, all right, cool. Because she wants the best show. She wants the best show. She wants the best for everybody else around her as well. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I remember when I was dealing with a contract or dealing with uh, <laughs> a company, and I was like, yo, they're trying to push me into this. And, just blah, blah, blah. and she's like, then don't. <laughs> like, like, be willing, say no and see how they say what they do. See what they do. And it's like, yo, they're talking to me crazy about this. She's like, then get on the phone and tell them they can't talk to you like that. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, you're right. Really be that simple. You're right. It's like you just have to just say it. No, you just can't handle me like that, guys. Yeah, like you're not gonna run through a wall for you. Don't talk to me like that. Like shit like that is important. It's not best for our work environment. To like the longevity though, too, of the show. Like you can definitely tell everybody on that show likes being there. Oh yeah, yeah. Like y'all have to set the, but you got to set the boundaries. Yeah. Yeah, you like, gotta know he don't like this, she don't like there that. There you go. Like it's like he don't like really, eggs in the morning. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You just figure it be, out. Yeah. You figure it out and you watch people. Like I'm I feel like growing up, like being a middle child, I used to watch a lot of people before yeah, I did just anything. Like us. You know what I'm saying? We middle kids. Too. Yeah, see, like I used to watch a lot of people before I do something. And then then I started doing them like just being me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I'm used to being left to my own devices and doing whatever I want. You know what I'm saying? So just well, operate I ain't like used that. To that though. Yeah, what was like what was family like growing up yeah 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 especially in a haitian household um well the kids were in the crib at my household because our parents worked all day long that's us haitian you know what i'm saying we not haitian <laughs> no i'm saying in his situation yeah like yo like the kids ran the crib like my brother was babysitting us mm-hmm. and then he would invite his friends over we'd chill <laughs> blah blah, blah. <laughs> I'd play video games or draw Dragon Ball Z. How many of you? It was five of us in the house. Oh, it was lit. <laughs> it was lit. Yes. People were like, the kids were like- Five the com- boys? No. It's mm-hmm. two boys, three two boys, girls. Three girls. Yeah. Oh, y'all ain't run shit. Y'all no, he was just saying the kids. The kids. Y'all sisters wasn't bossy? No. No. Like, the sisters, my sisters were in their room. 
or oh, they, they were doing whatever. They, 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 yeah. they were completely separate. It was like, if I wasn't playing video games or drawing, I was following my brother around and learning from him. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like, that was the life. And then I wasn't even really interacting with my sisters like that unless I'm, I'm there to protect them. Like if something's going on, I'll hold you down. What do Real you need? Talk. You know what I'm saying? That's we literally... gotta walk to go get stuff. Yeah. We lift stuff up, yeah. all that. But you don't. I don't know what they do behind. I don't door. know what you're doing over there. That was us. I'm holding bro. you when down. When Baba used to go in the room, we'd be like, I, don't, I never right. know what you're doing, she's doing, doing back, back there. there. What don't the know. hell are they doing yeah. in there? Yeah. Like now, nowadays, my yeah. daughters do stuff. I'd be like, that's what y'all been doing <laughs> this whole time. This is what y'all was talking about. And it usually results in like a mess or something you gotta fix. I'd be yeah. like, yo, this is what y'all been doing this whole time. We yeah. had no clue. We was outside hooping. Putting on had, I'm yeah, outside, they put on makeup. I'm with the dog. I'm doing all this other stuff. They like, trying on clothes, trying on different hair. They do different hair. My daughter and them do hairstyles in each other's hair, like just to learn how to do it. Like wow. they just doing stuff. And my wife in there, they doing hair, they trying stuff, they get new makeup stuff, try it out, but they be like excited. Yeah. Like, a bunch of snacks yes, and so makeup good. and outfits and they'll be in there for hours. I'll be like, bro, we never knew what y'all was doing in there. That's yeah, what you're that's what you're, dress up and bro, shit. Bro, what? It's crazy. Like kids, like I don't I don't have no kids, but like watching kids grow up, I'm like, look at you with your little personality. Look at you figuring <laughs> shit out. <laughs> It's crazy. I used to feel like that. Like, oh, like I love that personality. Like that kid, he like he got some spunk to him. Like, yeah. I don't care if don't nobody like it. Like, I fuck with yeah. him. Bro. Now I have one of those kids. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, you know what? You can take her. Yeah, take her out here. You want her? Yeah, take her with you. You she's so cute. Yeah, oh, take her man. with you for a week. My daughter, I'll be thinking, like, man, like, oh, she's so cute. Somebody, I'm so scared of somebody snatching up, and I'm just like, yo, if hey, I ever give snatch her them up, yeah. <laughs> give her back. 20 minutes, they can be like, take it. No, nah, yeah, you what toy <laughs> yeah. are you talking about, <laughs> yeah. Your parents gonna have to get it right for you. <laughs> or you just talking too much. Like, you just talking way just too, too much. much. And, and we got too long loud. a ride to the crib. <laughs> yeah, <Yo, laughs> nighttime. Like you not tired? You just... Ah man, I was when I was home recently. I was riding around in the car with my boy and his girl and their son and their nephew. And just <laughs> a bunch of noise. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I'm like, and they used to it. Mm -hmm. And I, and they're just like. <laughs> That's driving me. around. That's me. And I was like, That's me. oh, I'm with a family. Yes. This is a yes. family. This is like, going. this is crazy to me. I'm like, oh, this It'd is like cute. A, a nah, fight, a know. shoe get thrown out. The, they stop on the highway, get the shoe, Dog. get back. You got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> all this between five exits. That's a real story, too. The screaming, shoe going out the... screaming That's to crazy. the top of their lungs. Yeah, the guests yeah, be sitting yeah. there like, what? And the parents just be like, oh. <laughs> then they get the parents to get in an argument about the kids being bad. Like, no, that's your son. No, that ain't, that's your son. Don't worry about my boy. Yeah, Someone know. sounds like they're triggered. <laughs> I go through this all the time. Way Maybe too much, him, man. Him, True. him. Oh, hey, I'm always, it's always my fault. No. Yeah, that's, that's, that's cool, be. man. I'm just like my daddy. Hey, yeah, that's cool. That's my fault. <laughs> hey, man, we like to ask all our guests the same question, man. It really brings the show together since Ari came up with it. Go ahead and ask your question, man. Jean. Right, we gonna what are you run working? That. We gonna run your name to death. Yeah. Yeah, we like to ask Jean. Yeah. Jean. <laughs> what you're working on improving in your personal life or just overall about yourself? Uh, work-life balance. I'm working on work-life balance. Um, it's very important, like trying to... Hold on, before you answer, do you think it exists? <sighs> I don't think it exists. I don't know, bro. We've been talking about I, it. It's something yeah, I'm striving for. Don't ruin don't that know. man's face. All man. right, go ahead. Go I, ahead. I'm striving for it. <laughs> Strive for that great. I'm striving for it, but like, I don't strive. know how. I don't know how, but I'm trying. Trying to figure that out. Um, be a biz better business owner. You know what I'm saying? And like, try to create processes for people that come in. So therefore, I'm not having to explain everything back. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to get that stuff in order right now. Um, Being a better boss, good job. Yeah, just trying to be better. Um, Cause I, I like it when people just do their own thing. I don't want to be bothered, I don't want to micromanage you, I don't want to do none of that stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just want you to do your thing and then report back to me, let me know what's going on and then move on. Mm -hmm. um, and trying to, yeah, well, yeah. Balance that, that work life balance, bro, is really, really what it is. Because acting, producing, all that stuff, 
engaged now, figuring out this wedding situation. Congratulations on Thank that. you. Congratulations. Um, family, what the family life's gonna do, getting our goals together, me and my uh, me and my fiance's goals together, like what what, what life's gonna be like. Y'all niggas gotta move in together. Like, that, like I know that too. <laughs> I know. So, like, yeah. I know. I have to. That's give up gonna my be space. crazy. Yes, that's gonna be crazy. It's gonna and be nuts. Man, like I you know what you do. I got a secret for you. Shoot. Get an Always ADU get, unit. Get, just get <laughs> one extra bedroom. That Always get one extra bedroom. Not for a bed though. That's 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 the that's, the, that's this the key ingredient. Okay. See, there's this thing, there's this, there's this I'm in myth. The yeah, there's this myth. The there's this myth that doesn't exist. Is the key. It's just this. There's this myth that, you know, you're gonna need this like separate bedroom space that you don't need. You need your own bathroom, and your own closet. Mm -hmm. You that'll give you sanity. Mm -hmm. Now she's gonna still use the bathroom that of you course. got because it's gonna be cleaner because the makeup won't be in the sink. Mm -hmm. But Having your own bathroom to go to where you could take as long as you want, key. Mm. <laughs> Closet space so that you can find everything that you need. <laughs> key. Because you're not going to be able to find nothing. When they go through it, it's like a tornado every time, especially if the friends come in there too. That's the other thing why you need your own because them friends is coming in her space. Mm -hmm. She could tell you a hundred things I wish I could say. That any one of them are different, it's not. The more she love you, the more the friends are coming over into your space, period. Because you got to show you off. <laughs> uh, if I tell the truth, you I, I, I don't experience like these things. No. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, boy. <laughs> no. I've been all through your closet, bro. Right, but I didn't bring you there. You just, you just <laughs> you Sasha did. did. See what I'm Sasha did. That's what I'm telling you. Oh, no. That's what I'm telling you is Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, every show I like to tap in with the fans on social media and ask some of their burning questions. I know y'all got questions and you just don't bump into me on the street or I just don't run on my Twitter and see it. But luckily for you, LRG brought them over to the screen. Ari, right, which question we got today? This one comes from Twitter today. Got a Twitter question. Twitter fingers. Twitter. It's usually IG, but it it's Twitter this time. Twitter fingers. At deuces uh, underscore asks, what advice, Iman? Do you have on balancing your career goals and your relationships with your partner? Um, Relationship with your partner, I'm sorry. I gave up the balance. I think that's probably the best way for me and my wife to balance. We uh, we just sort of just take the jobs. Um, just exist. Yeah, our, I don't. <laughs> just because a free I, flow. I got, I got, I got to the point where I'm like, um. I'm like, okay, I, I I was in love with my wife from the outside looking in as far as you work your ass off, you still go out and have a good time, you dress your ass off, you're funny on camera, you got funny responses in your interviews, you seem very down to earth. If that's why I'm with you, now that more jobs and everything is coming to you, it's for the same reasons mm -hmm. that I picked you. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So it's like the more people appreciate you, it's like, yeah, we may spend less time together, but it's like, I've also been on the other end of me and her just spending too much time together and now we arguing about stupid shit. But what's great is you guys get to miss each other. That's what I'm saying. We get it's to miss each other long. every time so we come you, home. That's how you would do it. Every time yeah. me and T come okay. home, and we, we at the end of the day, when we ask each other, how was your day? It's a long response. It's not like, how was your day? Cool. That's usually that's that's usually my problem is I can't come home and just articulate everything that happened because I don't want to get back to that place. I oh, like, you don't want to go back? Yeah, you don't want to relive I'm it. Yeah. Like, oh no, me and T like, the opposite. I'll be like, babe, now let me tell you about this. <laughs> then I leave from there on the way in the oop. Uber cancel. She like, I hate when that happens. That's how we. That, that's our conversation. And be like, I wouldn't get that if I like, cause there, I had a point where I was like that, where I'm talking to my wife like, well, well you got to work here, you got to do this. I'm only gonna be in town for two days, mm -hmm. so why you, we ain't gonna spend time? Then mm -hmm. you start panicking and just, and it's like, bro, that's so unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Like she works her ass off. She got another job. Either I can make it there or I can't make it there. Now we got two kids, so it make it way easier. Like, oh, babe, I gotta go work over here. I need you to, woo, woo. Oh, I gotta work too, cool. Can your parents come? Cause mm -hmm. Junie got school, so we need to, oh, your parents can't come? Okay, cool, we need to have the nanny come, woo, woo. Like, we'll make arrangements, mm -hmm. but our conversation, just cause it's not about us, it's not 
not for the cause. Mm -hmm. Like me and her got a cause and that's that's what we mm -hmm. put in to do. So that's, we gave up the whole balance, me and her spending time and started balancing our family that we built. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I guess that's the refocus. We just started. Yeah, you guys are like really running a ship together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I'm like, if I'm on the West Coast and she on the East Coast, like nigga, we run the world right now. Mm -hmm. Like that's how we look at it. We don't really look at it like, oh, I'm missing out on time. And oh, mm -hmm. she's probably partying without me. <laughs> It'd be like, no, nah, she, yeah. Like she probably got to take 12 motherfuckers out because <laughs> she at home in New York same way I would have to do if I'm in Chicago like it's just to understand I guess we just been together long enough bro mm -hmm. I'll probably that's fuck around look really like her by now yeah really we probably look alike by now my nigga that's... Jean same question what yeah. advice would you give to somebody who's trying it to it sucks because working? he just said that was what he's working on the balance. <laughs> the balance oh no but I'm saying what advice would you give to somebody else who's not in his exact same position like if you're just gonna give some general advice on balancing career and especially all the plates you try uh right now what we do is we have like a designated day like a designated day a date day a date day we date have a day we have a date day and i also have sunday where i just turn off like my phone is on do not disturb my phone's on do not disturb all the time but like yeah, it's not do not disturb my wife hates me. <sighs> But like, um, so why do y'all keep doing it? Cause you because really need to you not need be to not be bothered <laughs> about whatever you're doing. You just not to be. Don't bother me. I'm really trying to lock in, like not trying to violate you. Have you. to. It's not. It has nothing to do with you. Like my boys yeah. would be like, Yo, what the fuck, bro? Like, put me on your favorites. I'm like, bro, like. Then you're gonna get through. But then you're gonna get through. <laughs> and, exactly. While I'm trying to read, what I'm trying to read, <laughs> and trying to figure out what I'm trying to figure out. Like, we have date days where we just go out and just do stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I like date day, day. That sounds and cool. And then um, Sunday is like my day when I turn off, and now it's her day as well. Mm -hmm. So like we literally will sit at a house, watch TV, or play card games, or just do something together. Or, or just she's in her bedroom reading a book, and I'm watching TV and just minding my own business, just being cool. Okay, okay. It don't have no kids, man, because all of that stops. <sighs> No designated day, designated <laughs> none of that. Bro, me and T was that. on this bath thing for a while where we was like trying to get like one bath a day where we could have a bath and no kids. Just <laughs> chill, we could talk, we don't have to have our phones because we in the bath. Mm -hmm. Well, we had that shit going for about two, three days. It was great. <laughs> Wait, was every day bath day? What the fuck? Oh no, every day we were trying to like set aside like a quick 30 minutes to just this sit in some the un, Now, this is some Hollywood shit. No, bath it's day. like, when other bath time, day. what other time? Come on, babe, let's get in the bath. No, you know what time it is, it's bath day. It's bath time, not bath day. <laughs> bath day means you bathing once out the year, brother. No, it bath don't. Bath time. No, it don't. He's talking, I think he's saying bath day as in is your day you designated to pick to take a shower it's with just your spouse. Time, yeah, it's we just take a shower, time no, designated. you don't take a shower today at a bath. I'm just saying you're gonna get in the bath. Who gets in the bath and sit in their dirt? That's gross. I hope y'all not sitting in y'all dirt. Take a shower before your bath. <laughs> shower first, then get in the bath. <laughs> shower first, then get in the bath. You know, yeah. the kids like to get in the bath first, then get in the shower. Either way, that shower is needed. <laughs> you hear me, <laughs> you hear me, <laughs> you hear me. Uh, before we let you go, is there anything that you want to promote? Um, we have an event called Screen That Night, which is happening November tenth. Yes, sir. Um, it's to highlight short films from up and coming filmmakers. Uh, this is everybody that's supposed to send their everybody that sends a short film. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, hope y'all sent it in. If you missed the cutoff date, I apologize. I'm gonna give my man Jean to give you another shot later at a later date. Yep. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, so join us for that. Um, keep watching Send Help. Uh, keep promoting the show. Keep talking about it. Keep tweeting about it. Use yes, the sir. hashtag Send Help Series. Hashtag Send, send Help series, series, man. Let's get it out there. Um, yeah, and this, let's keep rocking and rolling. And follow me on all social media. Same name, different app, Jean Ellie. Jean Ellie. Y'all got it? Get with it or get lost. We gone. Thank you for coming, bro. Man, Appreciate thank it. you for coming, man. I love that post nigga. He's like, yeah. Catalina Wine. Yeah, oh, bro. <laughs> Catalina Wine. <Yeah. laughs>